That is that. Look at his eyes in this clip. That's what he's realizing. He's like, I'm not going to be able to make it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello there, individuals. Respecting your individuality. My name is Comedian. Don't take it personally. You can be named whatever you want. This isn't your channel. This is my time to shine. We're doing BTS crack before this gets too off the rails. We're going to do a BTS crack. So what's, what that entails is I'm going to sit down, watch BTS crack, which hopefully is funny, and then make some funny comments about it, hopefully. So maybe you'll get double the funny. Maybe like 1.2 times the funny. I don't know. It depends how I'm feeling, what kind of mood I'm in. I don't make the rules. But what is going to happen is you're going to subscribe right now because you owe me one. And I'm going to click the play button. Thank you to Wenslet for suggesting this. Let's go. That might be my quickest intro ever. There's a whole new world out there. I've been wasting my life doing long intros, pretending to have opinions about stuff. FML. This is my favorite. Sugar Army intro, it bangs. Watched the whole video for a huge surprise somewhere in the video. See, if I say that, if I ever say that in the future, that's probably because I accidentally got my nipple out or something. That's, that's, that's that. <laughs> what dishes? <laughs> Why do I feel like I've seen this video before? Maybe I haven't. I guess it's just got a similar clip. If I've actually seen this video before, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be furious. Okay, I think I've seen this part of this video, or something. But guys, don't do this to me, because I'm the sort of person, my ADHD is so strong, so powerful, such a, po a high power level, I could reach the end of the video and be like, have I seen it? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Don't do this to me. What do you mean you would have? There's still time, my friend. You're going solo now. <laughs> I've got strong opinions about doing dishes. I think I'm great at them. I enjoy them. For me, it's kind of like meditation in that it's kind of wholesome and it helps me be in the moment and feel okay for some reason. Oh. Somebody's following. Don't you dare interrupt me. It helps me be in the moment and feel okay, but um, but unlike meditation, I don't find it utterly boring and impossible to pay attention. So, as you know, for me, my happy place is dishes, podcast, good to go. And I, I put that all down to the fact that I used to work as a dishwasher, a wash disher, for a while when I was a child, effectively. Uh, this was paid. It wasn't for my parents. They wouldn't have paid me to do that. But... You know, and I worked in the place where after a while, you you know, you get so quick that you just, you're like, bring me more stuff. Bring me, I'm the god of dishes. Bring me more, more. And you bang like a, you know, an oaken cup on the table. So I feel like I have opinions about his dishwashing technique. The main issue I have is that he's not using any fucking washing liquid. Where's the dish soap? I don't see any suds, no bubbles. What you've done is rinse that in style. What podcast? I mentioned this before. The Ricky Gervais XFM podcast. Massive caveat. It's not about Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais is a knob. Don't agree with him or his political opinions. It's about Carl Pilkington. It's quite old. It's mostly aged okay. It's just a comfort thing. So, you know, check it out if you want. What he's done there is he's laid a blanket gently, a funeral blanket over the dishes because he knows he just murdered them. Good night, my sweet. Oh, 
I guess they are. Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, boss. I mean. <laughs> well, I'm glad he takes it seriously, but, you know, soap next time. Soap. This is. Yangmar socks. No one does that. No one does that. This is what happens when you grow up in a dorm with seven other men, you know, age 16. Is you, you think things are normal, but they aren't. They aren't. They just aren't. Every time I come on these Q&As, I learn some new stuff. <laughs> He's walked in like a maid. Is he holding like gloves? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I knew he wasn't gonna make it because how could you not like like that video if if he's been there sat there thinking yes I'm V I'm a member of BTS the world's biggest band I'm a serious artist I'm a serious person people take me seriously when he realizes this clip what this clip does is it reminds you that the sum of your artistic efforts is you are seven men who spank each other very hard on camera. That is the sum of your achievements. That is, that. look at his eyes in this clip. That's what he's realizing. He's like, I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's the fact that he closed his eyes. It's the pain. It's like, oh no. Oh no. We're not artists at all. We're just boys. <laughs> this this might be why they've gone solo. It might not even be the music. They might agree on the music. They might, you know, they might actually not feel like they need to express themselves. So it might just be like, like we need a little bit of a break from being a group and making music 24 seven so we can take out our sexual frustration on anyone else. Anyone else. <laughs> Good to know it doesn't just happen to English people. Oh, he's going for it. So this is when he took a nap on stream. But I feel like, I don't know, like if I was in that position, which I honestly will be soon, maybe now even. No, but if I was in that position, I, I'd think in my head, okay, I'm going to do this. I do feel sleepy. This happened this morning even. I was like, I did not sleep enough. I'm going to go back to bed. Didn't happen. I'm terrible at sleeping. And if I was in this position, I would pretend, I would put, close my eyes and then be like, do I wake up and say, this didn't happen, sorry? Or do I just commit? Do I just pretend to sleep for like 20 minutes now? I don't know what I do. I think knowing how cowardly I am, I would just pretend to sleep for like 20 minutes. It would be the worst and longest 20 minutes of my life. Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Uh, oh, 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 okay. oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, okay. That was a... <laughs> ground to sock missile. <laughs> did he just say these stinkers? Did he mean that lovingly as in, oh, you rotters, you stinkers? Or did by these stinkers, did he mean his cheesy feet, his blocks of e dam in my face? Wait a minute. 
Okay, okay. 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 They're technically saving the planet because fun fact, fun and nerdy fact, people, a black video takes way less bitrate and, and data to stream because it's just black. The, the the video just tells the computer, play black. Hey Siri, play black for a minute. Way less data, so they're, they're saving the planet, maybe. <laughs> See guys, when I I regret saying the word for Gervais, I agree he's a knob. I already said that. Uh, and I also thought I could trust my subscribers. They're enlightened people to not have to put a chat filter on my stream. I have regrets about that right now. That's that's in my video now. That's in the corner. So cheers for that. <laughs> Oh wow. That that certainly is a bike. Nope. Son to go watch that. I'm pretty sure someone's been banned from Twitch for doing that. Am I going to get banned from Twitch for streaming somebody else streaming a bathroom? This might be my- this might be like a very quick Twitch career, guys. Let's just say that. Ooh. Hopefully that is washing hands and not oh. number one. Oh, yeah. It's either washing hands or- or just me after, you know, a meal. Wow. And only half of those are, are toilet bots. Unbox Clute Box with me. I knew it. Clutebox.com, etc. My YouTube's being twitchy today. <laughs> they have about two thousand dollars worth of albums on their wall. <laughs> Five stars for that. That's proof there is no God. Proof. Are they holding their phone because they're like Instagram thoughts, or is it because like they just is is the phone being used as the dance measure? Because if it is, that's proof that this app just guesses. <laughs> Shockingly looking like me on the dance floor, just a bit less effort. <laughs> Sugar's like mass tea bagging. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they they got so much energy. I'm jealous. I, mean, I got exhausted watching that. <laughs> but what what is this? What is this receptacle? This dish here? It looks like a very small Victorian like um bedpan, you know, or a bath or something. Very, I'm very curious about what is happening on this table. Oh, 
어? 우리 아미 분들도 보시는 공부해주는 시 그러면 화면 밖에서 먹고 오자 네? 화면 밖에서 먹고 오자 <웃음> 여기서 먹고 여기로 야! 아 씨! 방금 우리 콜라를 마신 거야 <웃음> 그럼 그럼 안 보이잖아 <웃음> They made it worse <웃음> 걸렸으면 목 상태가 안 좋아. 너 다쳤어. 그러면 이게 알코올 성분을 닦아 안 닦아. 오, 그래 알코올로 닦아. 닦아 지금. 뭐야, 이런. He's a genius. He's a genius. That's a whole argument for legalizing medical alcohol. It's time to stop. Hmm. <웃음> 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 Oh, I like that. That's nice. I I feel hypnotized. I'd have watched this for hours. He must know what he's doing. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Keep, keep going. Tell me more. Mm. Oh, <laughs> That's the only opinion you should have on wine. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like phobie. Alright, I remember this clip now. And I was, because I, you know, I remember it because my memory is terrible. But the reason I was spurred into remembering it is because I saw the fact there was ice in there and got angry. And it reminded me of, you know, how memories and like smells and stuff can trigger your memory. The fact that I got angry triggered my memory. I was like, oh yeah, I've been angry about this before. And I'm angry again. Ice in any drink is a waste of time in your life. It's, it's, it's a cheating, like, uh, oh, ice is a, is, is a capitalist conspiracy to give you less drink for more money and give you watered down bollocks at the end. But in a, in wine, it's madness, and I won't have it. 그리고 저는 그 와인에 얼음 넣어서. I noticed that. I did notice that. <laughs> Guys, I think we've uncovered a conspiracy here. He sang from his head. I knew it. I knew there must be a reason why they have such big, floppy, like, Beatles-style haircuts. They've got a second mouth hidden on the top of their skull. Think about it. That's real. Why does that slap, though? <laughs> This is why you don't drink wine. I don't drink wine anymore. I once drank a whole bottle of wine to myself, and that was enough for a lifetime. I was like, yep. Instantly regretted that. Okay. Nice Thank you for the insight, Andrew Stocks. No one's gonna disagree with you. What? She can't go He's gone, lost in the source. <laughs> it's like they forgot one of the band members. <laughs> it's a good thing that they aren't fans of themselves. No, they probably are. You know what I mean, though? It's a good thing that they are them and not. Army because they'd be the one people in the crowd everyone would be like shh you're ruining it shut up if they went undercover in a BTS show which again would be impossible without cloning but let's just let's just say cloning exists in this universe if they went undercover at BTS show people around them would be annoyed at how terrible they are at being fans I keep accidentally minimizing it it's driving me nuts <laughs> <laughs> 
Flashy Fly, Flash Fly says, go tell the story of getting drunk when you were young. Which one? Which one? My ears don't like this. My ears... <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> this isn't the school, mate. You don't need to ask permission. As long as you aren't going to do it like on camera. Because I'm sure most people would not be into that. There's always one. They've got expensive chairs. I feel like this is the kind of chair I read that's actually good for your back if you're going to do what I do all your life. And and it will save you from like spinal surgery, but it costs like a thousand dollars. So I was like, spinal surgery it is. I can afford that later, maybe. A few minutes later. Um. Luckily, I've never had to go to Lou on stream because this is me in my apartment. You can't see it, but my toilet is just right there behind the fridge. So it's a good thing. Good thing. Tell the story of me involving sleeping on the floor. I mean, the moment's passed now, but as you've asked so nicely, um, basically, the first time I ever got drunk, like properly drunk, like properly British drunk, um, it was off. <laughs> of course it was. It was off like uh, Uzo or like Recar. It's like it's, it's like a sort of like a, a sort of um, a minty kind of liquor. Um, also called Pernod or Pernod, I don't know, Pernod, I don't know. Um, it's like, you can see it in like France and Greece more commonly. It's, it's, it's you know, it's common-ish. Or well, you can you can buy it in the UK. It's more of a specialty alcohol. Um, um, but I used to think it, like my parents were pretty liberal or maybe just bad parents about letting me have like a sip of alcohol when I was younger. So I knew what it tasted like. So my logic was, well, that tastes nice. So I'll get drunk on that. My friend probably had like vodka or something because he was sane. Um, so so I guzzled up the uh, the recard, but I didn't realize it was my first time drinking alcohol and I didn't know about, you know, alcohol or the digestive system or, bi or biology. I didn't know that it takes a while for the alcohol to get down there, soak into the stomach and then come back to the brain, which is seems redundant seems like a you know a waste of energy but anyway much like the story but anyway so i i was getting you know tipsy but also thinking feeling invincible like this is nothing i can keep you know and it's tasty it's a very tasty alcohol it's a very delicious alcohol is what i'm saying it's actually genuinely very delicious so i kept drinking and kept drinking um and kept drinking not knowing that it was all going to catch up with me um, and then basically, um, I was very, very ill, very, you know, incredibly ill. Like I, I basically went from being like, I'm fine. This is my first, I'm, I'm great. I'm great at drinking to just being completely, completely shit faced blackout, uh, on the floor. Um, and this was back when I used to make my own pizza, which means I would get a pizza that was already made and then just put another layer of cheese on it. Then a layer of like tuna because... I hate myself, I guess, and then a layer of cheese and a layer of sweet corn and a layer of cheese. And no, I'm not kidding about that. I would literally make it like a cake. It was disgusting. Um, so I was just lying on the floor and all of that tuna mess just came up again, obviously, onto the kitchen carpet. And I would just, I remember just black, I remember just waking up. Um, I remember waking up and tasting tuna in my mouth. I might not have told this bit of the story last time Flesh if I heard this, which may, maybe you, you regret asking me this for now, but <laughs> I remember waking up. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> waking up, tasting like horrible, you know, sicky tuna in my mouth and being to my friend like, please get me a Kit Kat. Get me a Kit Kat. I just need, I need to taste anything else. And then I blacked out again. And the next thing I wake up, I remember waking up. I remember waking up, looking forwards and seeing the Kit Kat just in a pile of sick, just uneaten, just in any way. But, that, but that, the, the, the highlight of that story, or the, the, the culmination of it, is that because I was so, I'd never been drunk before, and it was like, you know, I've never been like, you know, I was really ill, feeling terrible, and completely, you know, still shit-faced. My friend's like, I'm going to go to bed, and I was like, I was like, you know, she's like, you know, do you want me to help you go upstairs, you know, to where the bed is? And I was like, I was like, I, I can't. I felt like, you know, in a pregnant lady, like it has, has, something has to be just so. I was like, I can't sleep in a bed. I can't. I have to sleep on the floor naked. And my friend, my friend was like, okay. So I basically immediately started stripping and covered myself 
uh, in some towels. Um, so, you know, for my dignity, which was obviously salvageable, as if. Um, so, you know, I go to bed. Um, I go to bed completely naked, one towel below me as a duvet, or one towel below me as a mattress, one towel above me as a duvet. Very luxurious, very comfy, perfect, way too drunk and sick person bed. And I woke up the next morning, and obviously the towels had gone. They'd, I've just, I'd thrown them off in the middle of the night. So I was just there lying completely ass naked, spread eagled in the corridor, in the corridor, the entrance corridor of my house. And I look over and the post has been delivered, which shouldn't be a big deal normally, but I had a weird house. My parents had a weird house where the front door was just a big pane of see-through, entirely see-through glass, entirely see-through glass. So this postman had to walk up to the house and was probably like, do, 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 oh, oh. And I'm just right there, a naked 15-year-old, completely naked 15-year-old just lying. And he was probably just like, should call the police, but I might be implicated in this crime. So I'll just gently deliver the post and be on my merry way. So yeah, that's that's that story. No such thing as too much water. Well, I, I guess you can actually die of water poisoning. I like V's more casual approach. I wanted to come back and be like, it was a number two, you know, fairly well formed, medium hard, just just completely just crap all over Jimin's, you know, Victorianness. <laughs> I don't think I would have left the postman out fly could fly that that's the punchline the post the punchy postman is that why I'm so on edge all the time <laughs> they are like brothers, aren't they? Hi again. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, amazing. This I feel slightly better laughing about. You know, because it's on the same level as like the joke, the joke where your friend wants to get in the car and you lock the doors and drive away. It's on the same level, but it's not, it's nowhere near as mean. It's just, it's just a bit funny. That is an Instagram shout out of the day. I think that means this video is over, which means maybe we'll see. Yeah, which means you don't have to hear about Postman and Tuna Pizza anymore. And you should be thankful for that. Oh, well, thank you, Wensler, for that suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was chaotic. The video itself was chaotic, and I added my own brand of chaos on top. So if you made it through that, you're a god. Uh, and I thank you. I humbly thank you. I hope you, if you did make it through, I hope you enjoyed it, if that's possible. And if you did enjoy it, which you obviously did, then click the like button. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure your all notifications turned on so you can see when I upload and stuff like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please also check out my Patreon if you want to support my channel. You can support what I do by going to my Patreon and you get the bonus. The main thing about that is supporting me. That's wholesome and lovely. But the bonus is you get even more reactions, more chaoticness to fill your day with, which is good and stuff. I've got a Discord down there too. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. I'll see you soon. Take care. Again, see you soon again. And remember, if you like this reaction to BTS being wacky on the live, then click 
the subscribe. Oh, wow, I'm bushed.